So you're in the process of manifesting your specific person, but you wonder, how am I supposed to act in the 3D world while I'm manifesting my specific person? Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Success Coach. And today we are soaring high, like a big, beautiful eagle, and we are always flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. High flyers. I have something for you. Matter of fact, I have several things for you. We have a number of free resources. They're absolutely free and they're yours at law of attraction solutions.com free eBooks, free audio programs, all designed to help you manifest the kind of life that you want. We have them there. They're free. Just download it and get on with it and get using it. Law of attraction solutions.com. So high flyers, you found someone that you really want to have a special committed relationship with. This is your SP or your specific person. And this is somebody that you're very, very interested in that you want to make this person a part of your life. You may have already begun doing 5d work, visualizing the three by 33, the two cup method. You may be using affirmations. You may be using hypnosis, miracle hypnosis. You may be using a lot of techniques to help you create the reality you desire in the 5d world, because when you create a reality that you desire in the 5d world, it must manifest in the 3d world. But what are you supposed to do in the 3D world while you are allowing the manifestation to flow forth from the 5D world? Kind of confusing, huh? Because you still live in the 3D world, but you are creating in the 5D world. So you may be asking yourself, Robert, while I am creating in the 5D world, the quantum world, is there anything specific? that will help me in the 3d world, because listen, you can mess things up by doing things wrong in the 3d world as well as the 5d world. So high flyers, before we get into the specific tips of what you're supposed to be doing in the 3d world, let's talk about what you're doing first in the 5d world. You're focused on becoming the highest version of yourself, raising your vibration, thinking positive thoughts, you're filled with gratitude and you're taking inspired action. Secondly, you're creating a clear picture of the wish fulfilled in your life on a daily basis. You're using your imagination. You're invoking the power of the law of assumption. In other words, you assume you already have what you desire and you're feeling the feelings. What does it feel like? What does it feel like to be in the relationship with your SP? What does that feel like? What do they feel like? What do you feel like? What do the two of you feel like together? Okay. That's what you're doing in the 5d world, but what are you doing in the 3d world? First, let's take a look at some things that you don't want to be doing in the 3d world. Number one, you don't want to be chasing. You see high flyers. When you chase, you send out this vibration of neediness and want and fear and anxiety. And those are contrary to law of attraction. They're contrary to getting what you desire. Secondly, you don't want to be selling yourself short or doing things with your SP that you're not ready for, or that you're not prepared to do. In other words, you're not going to let anybody walk all over you just because you have strong feelings for them. And three, you're not always available. You are planning your life. You're jam packing your life with positive, uplifting, good, happy activities. And so you're not going to be, you know, just hanging around waiting for them to call. 
they may call, they may say, Hey, let's get together, but you've made plans to do something else. And so that's just the way it works out. Let's, let's do it another time. You're not waiting on anyone. Now, high flyers, what should you be doing? One, do daily affirmations, at least three solid affirmations that you've written up that support your 5d reality, whatever it is that you're creating in your mind, the reality, the inner reality that you are creating, you need affirmations that support that present tense affirmations that use the law of assumption. I am, I have, we are. Number two, every day you are doing things, you are engaging activities that make you feel good about you and your life. Look at the higher you can raise your vibration without someone living at the highest version of yourself. The more you can do that, the more attractive, the more magnetic you become to that person in both the 5d world and the 3d world. You'll notice the difference, but it really comes down to loving yourself and filling your life with uplifting activities. Number three, when, or if you interact with this person, you're not going to interact with them the way they are expressing themselves in the 3d world. You're going to interact with them the way you have created them in the 5d world. Remember you've created an inner picture of them, of you, of the two of you together their behavior, et cetera, in the 5d world. You're going to interact from that premise, not from the premise of the 3d world. Finally, you're going to make a commitment right now to fill yourself up with gratitude about your relationship, about your specific person. I am so grateful that my specific person is in my life. My specific person is so happy. I am in his life or in her life, et cetera. You're going to be grateful that you have a committed, deep bonded relationship with your specific person. That's that's, I mean, look at, if you can do that, it's, it's very difficult to feel down or have lower vibrations because you are literally bathed in gratitude, a very uplifting emotion. So high flyers want to remind you to claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy success coaching. Visit us at law of attraction solutions.com. Find out what a mentoring program can mean for your life. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.